here tonight. Cortez chosen for this fight. It was between he and another fighter, but ultimately gets the chance of a lifetime here tonight against Gallo Estrada. And then we take a look at the fight stats, of course, just a massive amount of experience for Gallo Estrada, 298 rounds fought for Arhi Cortez, still an upstart recently, as recently as earlier this year, he was still taking part in six rounders, so a massive step up for Cortez here tonight. Cortez. Just missing with that uppercut again. And there it is. A right uppercut right up the middle from Cortez. Exactly. If Estrada doesn't wake up and stay on top of it, he could get caught again. I mean, Cortez has a good right uppercut, left uppercut, and a good body shot to the body. Right? Good uh, left to the body, sorry. Right about to attack. Right? I mean, he puts his chin down and he starts absorbing and he goes for the shot. He's like, you get that. He's got big Cortez trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man. Big mistake. Big mistake. Cortez still firing away. Yeah, trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man who has been one of the best in the lower weight classes for the better part of a decade. One of the best technicians in the sport, period. And one of the best closers. The minute he sees you hurt, he picks you apart. And he's looking. He's just looking for that next big shot. Well, that hard body shot. And you saw a reaction from Cortez's knee after that shot as well. He's battling through it. But Estrada's starting to pour it on. You know something, Corey? I think Guy Estrada definitely has one of the, one of the most uh, enduring... Uh, Right now. And another one from Cortez, but Estrada firing back. Estrada willing to engage in a toe-to-toe -to -toe war here with Cortez, and it is certainly benefiting the underdog. Jesse, you see the hallmarks of the Nacho Berestein school of boxing, just in the posture of Cortez, the way he throws his uppercuts. The way he's going after Guy Estrada right now. He's trying to roll with these shots along the ropes. Oh, oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. Estrada in action. And Estrada knows he has it. But Oki is not giving up. He loves it. So blood now coming from the nose of Guy Estrada. Look to erase any thoughts of this big upset. There are two fighters, Corey, that have been through a lot. Oh, what a right here by Estrada. Straight right. Stiff shot. Rocks the head of Cortez back. And now Cortez in retreat. Back and forth action. Look at that timing on Alki Cortez with that straight right alone. He's very rare. Oh, there's another one. Estrada now found something. Is he starting to get to Cortez? Or is Cortez getting to Gallo Estrada? That's the question. But well, we do know that you have back and forth action, but Cortez is receiving the worst of it, that's for sure. I'm surprised by how durable Cortez is. He, he was able to take some big right hands, big hooks, and still come back with his own. And that shot drops Cortez. He's complaining of the shot behind the back, but he certainly felt it. No, right was a body shot, and that's why he ran down. Back to back, it was a liver shot. And Estrada going on the attack. He sees him hurt. He wants to finish him. One of the best finishes in the game. Into going, he has 32 seconds to go. Estrada 
has been doing this for a decade. At the highest level. Estrada doesn't want to gas out either. He wants to be clever about his attack. Final 10 seconds of this round. The knee starts to buckle from Cortez again. And he almost went down here at the end of the round. What a turnaround for Gallo. Jesse, Estrada seems to have reached kind of a, a comfort level in his approach. He looks very relaxed at this moment. You know, that's something that I stated earlier. He just tends to do that sometimes. Every time he gets comfortable, that's when things tend to change. And this happens here. Right he on two. Combination. You said earlier, too, sometimes he adjusts. And he kind of just uh, drops down his level of talent to what his opponent is doing. And that's when he gets caught. That's one of the mistakes that he makes. Probably a good idea to see him against the top five in the world. Bring out the best in him. Perhaps a little ring rust. Perhaps a little of that fighting down to your opposition. Yes. Perhaps a little that Arnie Cortez is better than we thought. Trade body shots in the center of the ring. Ooh. Good right hand by Estrada, he's going to the attack. Estrada fainted going to the body and came up top of the left hook that caught Cortez. But Cortez firing back with some thunder of his own. Estrada wants a knockout. He wants to inflict pain on Adi Cortez. He wants to take him down. He wants to take him out. But will he be able to with one minute remaining? Good shot there from Cortez again and a counter from Estrada. Right back on top of Cortez. Win exchange. Back to the from both men. Back and forth. Cortez looking for the miracle here at Hermosillo. Ooh, good right hand when he twisted him just that way. And guy takes a couple shots with a lot of calm, patience. But he needs to come back 25 seconds. The people are, are chanting, Gallo, Gallo. He needs to close. Cortez still letting his hands go. Still landing big stuff. Misses with that right hand, but Estrada connects with one of his own. Final 10 seconds of a fight and a fighter in Arnie Cortez that exceeded all expectations. And the people are up on their feet applauding both fighters. What a performance by Gallo. What a performance by Ari Cortez. He showed that he's at this level. He showed that he's winning and hoping to fight for another world title soon if he doesn't come out with the victory tonight. Damas y caballeros, aplauso por favor para los dos goreros. Después 12 asaltos aquí en Sonora, México. Vámonos a la decisión de los jueces. Martín Canizales, 115-112. Ernesto Saldiva, 115-112. And Cristian Garduno, 114-113. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the WBC franchise can win magazine super flyweight.